Medical Order of the New Carlisle City Council Meeting, February 13th, 2019, at 7 p.m. Mr. Bridge. No, Mr. Hicko, my bad. <laughs> Thanks, Randy, for the heads up. <laughs> Sorry. Mayor Reynolds. Here. Mr. Shannon. Here. Mr. Lowry. Here. Mr. Cook. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, let me back up. Uh, Mr. Cobb. Mr. Cook. Yeah. Here. Mr. Lindsay. Here. All right, we have five members present. Fantastic. We are education. We are standing. I think Bob Lowry is going to stay. Lord, let's continue to build this to city forward and uh, make fiscally sound decisions, Lord, and look to city and crop continue to grow. She's damn right. Amen. Pledge allegiance to the flag of that. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Action on the minutes. There are none. Communications. There are none. No city manager's report. Comments from members of the public. Please limit comments to five minutes or less. And less or you can give your name and address, please. Dale Brand, 114 South Main Street. I see you have a, an ordinance coming up uh, for the next meeting to buy a little bridge building. I want you to take a minute to think of some of the repercussions. This council always says they want to attract businesses to downtown. We have a business downtown that draws people from out of town. We have two businesses downtown that draw a lot of people from out of town. Uh, the Rustic Wheel and World Threads. I talked, I have spoken with uh, Sarah about this, and indications are that the building is sold and she is asked to leave, she will close down her business. That is one less business that we have downtown. It's something to think about before you commit to these things. Thank you. Any other comments? I'll just go into that a little bit. I haven't spoken to Sarah as well. Uh, I didn't get quite the same answer that some that you just got, but I mean, I don't want to go into it. You know, it's her business. But it's, I didn't get the same feeling at all when I spoke to her. It was kind of different, to be honest. So. When I spoke to her, she said her options more than likely would be dating or just doing it online. None tonight. Resolutions, Mr. Kitko. Okay. Resolution 19-04R, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on February 20th, 2019. A resolution amending resolution 18-14R, the capital improvement program for the city of New Carlisle, Ohio, for additional capital purchases. Council? It's a resolution. It's a resolution. So we vote on it tonight. Okay. So, uh, the resolution said that's our first read only. Resolution is our first read only. If I understand that, so we just sit for a week. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Yes. On to ordinances. Ordinance 19 02, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on February 20, 2019. An ordinance giving city manager authority to negotiate the purchase of real property. Of the business, we have a budget work session. Mr. Rich. All right. Thank you, members of council, members of public. We can start our budget discussions. As um, this starts with Bun 201, street construction. So when it's all done, we can put it all in one day capture document. Um, so we will start um, revenue and street construction. We are projecting about 216500 So we can uh, move on to expenditures, appropriations. Any discussion on any of those line items? I mean, if there's any outliers here we can discuss. So please, uh, we'll have Debbie chime in as well as Mr. Kiko chime in on this fund deal with Mr. Kiko. Um, we've been working on these funds for about 3 o'clock today, so just bear with us on that. Um, nothing too outside of the ordinary with street construction. Any projected balance is 21232 So, I have a quick question. Sure. Um, for Mr. Kiko. Should we possibly raise our fuel higher with the potential gas tax increase coming? Because it could be raised anywhere from 5 to 21 cents as the voters in the state house. I didn't know if we should raise uh, 5 to 23 cents to the discussion. I 
Uh, we said they raised $66 million, and the commission that oversaw it made the raise five to ten, and then a few members that said, well, we should do 23. We don't have enough money to pay a lot on the roads. So That's a big jump. Yeah, yeah, it's massive. I know there's some article on uh, yeah. it if you want to read it. I know there's some taxes that we are exempt from, so the price on the pump sign is not what we pay. Okay, good. But I don't know if that specific state tax still is payable by the state. I know that whatever other tax, sales tax, things like that or not, but I don't know if that actually or we're exempt, so that'd be something to look into if I miss this. I mean, we have a little bit more. I mean, you could put another $2,000 on there and it'll cover. Yeah. Like I just I want to make sure I'm reading this and understanding this right. So this 216 is total for the year, right? Revenue? Right. right. Yes. Okay. How much of that is, is going into the actual streets? None of that goes into That's actual potholes or anything. No repairs, no nothing like that. That's the, the street levy does that work. Okay, so we're only gonna have We'll only have the street levy money for, 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 this, for this year? Just, just, yeah, just like the last four years or five years, we've only utilized the levy for the actual repairs and maintenance. This fund's used to pay wages for, for our street department. Okay. Lot, they would put it back down to 5,000 so the sun didn't wind up in the red. And 
and scrap the, uh, for this year, scrap the salt mine equipment. Can we look at amending the CIP and moving that from a 2019 project to possibly a 2020 project? Uh, I, would, I would not have a problem with that. You talking about the Brian? Yeah. I would not have a problem with that moving in a couple of years. And maybe, maybe uh, we'll be in a lot better financial shape then. I mean, we're in good shape now, but we do have some money that's coming out. And if we put it off for two years, then if the projected balance is whole, then maybe we could just uh, have the money to, to do that with a little easier. Yeah. Without putting in, maybe the general fund would have the money to do it and not have to run this this fund in the red. To see how the general fund fills up 19 and then look at the general fund paying for that. That's an option. Right. right. And if you look at the history with this fund, you, you know, uh, our, expenditure, our expenditures are a little high just to, for that cushion and passion, so we're expecting that imbalance to go up some. But then if you look at the linear history of the street construction fund, period, it hovers around 64, 62, we're projected to be 19 and 21. I think it would probably come in a little higher than that. So some of the things we look at is those ending fund balances. You know? mm -hmm. So at some point in time, the general fund is going to have to kick in and probably look at that salt icing system because this fund will not be able to support it. But yeah. that's what the general fund is for when it's got the healthy fund. Yeah. That's exactly the point. Of it. But I would be good to move it down the road a couple of years on the CIP. I don't think that either. But I did have one question about debt service. What, how many vehicles that the street department has is still under a loan? Uh, the only one that is currently under the loan is the backhoe. And I have just a little information I may put up about that. Um, that and two other funds. Uh, water, wastewater, and the street share the backhoe. This is the next of the last year. 2020 is the last year. We, uh, Debbie and I pulled up both amortization schedules today and looked at if we were able to pay what we're budgeting this year's backup payment and next year's in there, we could save about $2,000 in interest um, to do that. And then, um, then water would do their share, voice would do their share, and then the backup would be paid for this year and save about $2,000 over the three. So maybe 700 in the streets, 700 in the water, and 700 would be saved in the wastewater. Basically, we've got a lot of the payment this year. Yeah. So that being said, we'll, we'll discuss that second part. Of that. <laughs> Sorry, I got some <laughs> coffee. How do you feel about Brian? It was so we can get it tired of the way you were saying. That's how I feel about Brian. Same. All right, so Brian's out. So we're uh, back down to five thousand in this fund, yeah. and then kick it down two years to. What what year do you want to put the grind system in? Or twenty twenty or twenty twenty one? Twenty one at least. Okay. I, I feel that way because this fund does not see revenue increases over the last four or five years. A couple thousand, yes, but not. This does not get any okay. giant. And we can always win it if we see the general funds great. And we want to purchase it 29, 2020. We can go ahead and yeah. amend it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just move it forward. So if I can press down somewhere. And then, also, how do we feel about paying off the, uh, <laughs> the, the backhoe? So, just keep in mind, you would double the backhoe payment. So it would be about 10, 13,000. So you, that ending fund balance of 21, 232 is going to be reduced by the 5,681. You found 700. That's the interest. Yeah, so take about seven hundred dollars off that payment. This plan pays that twice. Then. Right. Yeah. Okay. Times two. All right, Mr. Lara, how do you feel about that? Yeah. All right, Mr. Chen. Able to save money? Heck yeah. Yeah, if we're going to save two grand, be two more grand in this. Well, divided between the three funds, so I would be up. I'd be agreeing to that. So you guys also have to agree to the two other funds in the future to think the same thing. There's no good. Valid point, but so if only you're going to approve this one. Right, yeah. yeah. See what I'm saying? Right. Okay. Mr. Cook. All right. All right. Any other questions on street construction? Council? Thank you. So we're out of time by two, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, State Highway is next. 
state highway revenue is about 17,000 projected. Um, last year we ended with 23,585. Um, really the same standard expenses that we've expended out of that fund uh, for many years. Um, really no surprises in that line item. Ending fund balance, the state highway fund is 84,293. Council, any questions? Uh, we um, will be in this fund, just uh, food for thought, I think it's 2023, when I asked about to provide them some legislation for a resurfacing of State Route 235, and we'll be liable for 20%. So in the end, I think if we need about 112 to 125,000, somewhere in there, we are share. Current ending fund balance is 84, so that's what we're going to work over the next four, four years or so to get that 120. And we probably won't have this... Uh uh, uh, the uh, 235 sign upgrade for 7,000. Will that event will that start to taper off? Because he would some years it was nothing, and then other years there were well, last year it was something. Oh, that ends up being a wash actually. It's a whatever we put in there, it was going right back out. Oh, God's paying for that. I'm just wondering because I'm like, oh, it's in yeah. zero years, and I see some years with it. So, yep. Yeah. Miss Watson, you got it.
So, he, so the front projector balances are close to what the uh, actual balance was for uh, 18 or I mean, it would be right down here. Uh, it could go up probably, uh, it'd still be under $10,000 at the end of the year. Well, let's see how it plays out. You, you're always going to have a, a history with the sponge, either going up just a little or sinking some because of that if this falls consistent in revenue stream that we have come in, but a non-consistent expenditure yeah. stream coming in, you know. If this falls into the red, would the general fund cover that? Or would have to. It would have to. Mm -hmm. okay. well, we, what we would end up doing is what we'll have to look at at the end of this year is we can adjust who is paid out of certain funds. So we can go and say instead of paying, you know, um, this is 40000 this is probably either half of someone or a third of someone, we'll just move that third out to some other fund that's a little healthier. So that way, the wage appropriation on this one would we'll, 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 we'll reduce. Yeah. yeah. So we'll, at the end of 19, we'll see how this plays out. If it's close to that line item that Mr. Kicker's not comfortable with or Debbie's not comfortable with, we can just reallocate and pay out. Okay, thank you. Yep. That's another question. Yeah. Uh, street improvement levy. So this, this is an improvement levy that the uh, voters passed in. Uh, revenue is about the same every year. This year is going to bring in 132.471. Of course, that is always depending on how they value the taxes. Um, the expenditures are generally the same out of that. We do have an ending uh, balance of 53337 Capital. Do we have any capital out of this one? No. Nope. There won't be um, capital, but I think what we need to do is actually take uh, 40 back, put it here because of um, the Gale Wood engineering. Okay. It didn't break it out because we always use Edgebrook, Prentice Drive, but last year we put it in maintenance of infrastructure. So we need to up that by 40,000? Yes. So we need to X out Prentice Drive, Street Project, and Edgebrook, and Gale Wood? No, we're going to put it in maintenance of infrastructure. Okay. So those two lines are going to have 40 out of the 100. No, we're going to take that 53 down to 13. Um, and what that what that's going to allow is... <laughs> 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 is um, basically, we used, to, we used to take projects and label them as a specific project and then you couldn't use that money for anything else. So once we go into Gilwood, I pay for engineering, I pay for the construction, and something breaks down out here, I gotta pay some, I can take it out of maintenance of infrastructure. So um, I have in there 100 is good, probably gonna cut into engineering. Uh, 41,000 is our share for Gilwood this year. Uh, engineering was 19. And if I can work in a project with the county, um, I'm gonna do that. If not, then I will probably spend much of that leftover and do what we did the first two years, roll those over a couple years, and then go for a big project again. Yeah. So, council, how do we feel about that 40? Being good, Ms. Farr? Good, Ms. Chan? Good, good, good. good. Mrs. Watson, may we ask you your opinion? No, I mean, that, that's good. You know, <laughs> okay. my, my I just want to appreciate you got me for it. My goal has always had much more money as a carryover, so yeah. when, when I see, you know, we had 50, okay, and now you're going to 13, it's like, oh, <laughs> no, you, you have to do it. Uh, okay, I mean, just wanted to. But I'm going to be on them all year saying, don't spend all my money. That's good to me. Would you feel better if we took some money out of the general fund to see your no. balance over the other four? No, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe he's having a heart attack when he's making a joke. That's what I put it to. No, I think you're good. Okay. Thank you. Maybe we're proceeding. Yes. yes. The Mercy Ambulance Capital. Um, uh, again, a pretty standard fund for year in, year out. Um, these are not used for wage wages, uh, they're used for purchases. Um, revenue, 3,118, and we average around that mid-30 to high 30 year in, year out. Expenditures out of this fund is 87,600. Ending balance is 110,609. And I do believe that Ms. Watson and our Fire Chief would like to maybe have a short discussion on the capital purchases for this fund. She yeah. to come on. Yeah. I'm going to uh, re-explain it. I, I like, this is what I need to work with. She knows how to do it with the money. Basically, when you look at all four of them, you 
core funds, the emergency uh, and both emergency funds and both fire funds. The goal is that he, he needs a new medic. Uh, the fire department needs a new medic. New medic uh, can cost um, up to two hundred twenty thousand, even more. But I think that I, uh, as you know, I'm trying to get rid of our debt, and I sure don't want to pay more. So I really believe that within those four funds, if we put enough capital in each one of those, we could probably pay cash for one. If we could come in underneath the 220, we probably could bring each each fund down, you know, to, to a little, you know, bring it down lower than what we have here. But we're not going into debt, and you pay cash for one, which is a very good thing to do. That's great. It's it'll come a little close. They're not very, he's not very comfortable with doing this, but um, I, I would much rather do that than to go into debt. The city does not need any more debt. We need to get rid of our debt, and we need to you know, move forward with that. So that's what I'd like to see, and I know it's a little uncomfortable. It's not something you, you're used to doing here, and we're pretty excited about how these funds have grown you know, as a whole for the city. So I don't want you to, you know, I, I understand the hesitation with taking more out of that capital, but I would much rather see it. And with the fact that he got um, all the radios and that paid for, that doesn't have to be in his capital anymore. So that takes part of that money, you know, that, that is part of the 220000 Because he told a couple of meetings ago, I forget how much that was. That we, we, we were receiving over $96,000 worth of radio equipment. That we don't have to pay for now. So yeah, we only have budget of 15. $220,000 for a medic. Now, with us also, too, we want to include a new black cat 15 in that medic and a, a new cop. $220,000 is really close. I'm not going to lie. But we've also got some other things that we're trying to look at doing. This is one possibility that uh, Elizabeth Township may be looking to buy the medic also this year. And if they do, we look at doing a buy at the same time, and if we do, we get a discount on the bets. So, if I point out, for the capital for 19, he had $15,000 in there, which he no longer needs for the radios. He had $30,000 already in their plan for a So that adds up to 45. And then the Lucas tool purchase. Are we doing another one? No. So there's another seven that he's not having to utilize for those three items. So you've got 15 to 45 and another seven. 52000 right there that we can utilize towards the medic, besides putting more money into the capital. So for all four of those funds, we have the capital to create the 220. It's, you know, they just have to stay. You want 220 total for the all capital? In different pots. In different pots, okay, the, right. yeah, in different like pots. Like it is that guy. Sure. So like, minus this right here in this fund, we're going to minus the 15, the 30, 45, and the 7. Yeah. So that's... 35,000 months. Well, that would, you know, so this would be contingent right. that we can get a medic at that price. Okay. And, we, and the reason why I thought of the 220 is because we just purchased the medic for $220,000 over there. And I wrote a check on Monday, so... I know one, you can purchase one for that kind of money. I don't know what all we have that you might want. But yeah, the biggest two. difference is going to be like okay. adding the life pack 15 into it. That's 27,000. And but I'm already I'm I'm leaving the 30 in here for that. So oh, I'm, okay. I'm accounting for that. I'm not taking that 30 out of here. So okay. it's still there for the life pack. Fantastic. All right. So, um, I'm going to start with Mr. Cook, and we'll work our way back to this. No problem. Mr. Lindsay. Oh, <coughs> cheers. Uh, you, do you think the 220 or 225 would buy what you're looking at or what you want to do? Because I know they're very expensive. They I are know, very expensive. Uh, I was just, I'm getting, you know, at just, any moment they rise, they raise their prices. Right, and I was just sitting here, David Gulf says I'm this evening, I'm sitting here going back and forth with my assistant chief of EMS and captain of EMS who does the basic bidding on this and they're just telling they're, me they're they don't know if 220 would do it. But we don't have the money for it. You probably come back to us um, and pay attention and we can do some total money. We can always take that as a general fund. Yeah, it's not a big thing or something. So I'm also going to do that. Do you have anything on this? Nope. Just check it. And 
I, I would be good with I I cash that. for this. Chief, how many miles are on already? Already, right now, has 160, almost 170,000 miles on. How's the lot of years old? How's it run? <laughs> Mechanically, it runs fine. Um, we've had several issues with the rear end of the medic that lowers the medic down. Uh, we've replaced the tin bags on it so far. That's, that's just something, it is what it is. That's the way it was bought. That was the design that was bought at the time. And this is no longer the design, correct? No. Good. They're no longer useful. And what I would hope to do in the, in the next two year budget, because that medic will still keep it as a reserve medic in the next couple years budget down the line, I'd like to, in a, to have that flipped over to liquid spring and get rid of the airbag. Um, other than that, the medic runs okay. I mean, it, it's, it's just that we're continuously putting a lot of hard, heavy miles on that medic. When you take one run from, from New Carlisle to Miami Valley, it's 40 mile round trip. And we do that sometimes two or three times a day. So you have a trailer with it, and I don't see the other word that like, you guys have to drive. Well, you figure we go from we go from every, every hospital from Upper Valley, which is in Troy, to Miami Valley, which is in Dayton, yeah. mm -hmm. and everything in between. Yeah. Well, here's that? another component to this: the citizens grade really fast and fire EMS level. This at eight and eighteen, mm -hmm. and this would be a very good time to go ahead and maybe get it out right because we have to jump on finance and this thing over the past next five to three years, five years, you know, so we get out, we buy it outright, saves interest, and then we have four or five, four or more years, or five more years of the, of the tax levy coming in to help rebuild that company. Yeah. So I think it'd be a good shout out to your citizens saying, hey, you're past the levy, now you have new back. Yeah. How much did this one cost us, do you know, Chief? I have no idea. I have a call. Um, It was, it was purchased plus also too, when it was purchased, it was purchased partially the insurance money from the medic that we did have that was told. Will we keep this one for sale? Yeah, we'll do it. Our, our goal plan right now is to take the, the front run medic that we right now and put it in the reserve status, buy a new medic, take the reserve medic that we have right now, the Ford medic, sell it, take the proceeds from that medic bought by sell and purchase a new staff vehicle to replace uh, Italian 52 because it's and it's in rough shape. The truck is pretty It's got over 100 and some thousand miles on it and it's it's rusting out, it's doing the normal dodge rusting around the drill well and everything else. Um, and we're gonna buy a, a similar vehicle as well, like what the sheriff's got. As a staff pick one. Hopefully we can buy sell the reserve medic for enough with a trade into that truck to buy a new staff vehicle about right enough. Is the Dodge running good enough, uh, other than rusting out to pick up? It runs, it runs okay. Like I said, just a lot of high mileage. And it's got a few little quirks of its own that we deal with. Okay. Just like any, you know, any vehicle. But uh, the, our biggest thing is right now is getting a new medic in place. Then we can start turning our attention to a new engine a couple, of few, a couple years down the road after the truck paid for. Because the engine right now is, is 20 years old. The uh, on the medic, I don't have a heart attack. Uh -huh. He was talking, I said this earlier. We could just pay for it out of the general fund and be done with it. <laughs> Look at Debbie. <laughs> However, 220, I would be more comfortable if we bumped that at least 10 grand. Just to have the money sitting there, if we don't spend it, it's still sitting there, and then they need supplies to stop it. If the council would be good with that, I'd like to bump it in. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to bump it in. Yeah. I'll give you the figures of each fund, that, that what the capital needs to be, and then you can. What's the new balance? Oh, well, you'll see. So the, the first, the emergency ambulance capital. 212. Uh, 212. If we bump that cap, we left. If we leave the eight, we bump it up sixty thousand. Okay, bump that fund up sixty thousand. Mm -hmm. For capital one forty seven. Yes. Sir. Okay. And then on the emergency ambulance operating, we have an ending balance of one eighty eight right nine. So let's take a hundred out of that. We still have eighty eight thousand dollars as an ending balance. And then if you take add fifty three 
thousand more to the fire capital equipment, and it's not taken away from anything that he needs or wants in the capital equipment now. That will give us our two hundred twenty thousand dollars, or two hundred thirty thousand dollars. Two thirteen to hundred uh, ambulance operating. What do you say the capital would be? <coughs> two thirteen, we would take <coughs> under even, under even. <coughs> and then on fire. Um, we would do so. It would be the total of seventy three. This is fire capital. Yes. Uh, and so you can see our new balance is 185. So if we use, if I added the 20, so yeah. it's 3 plus 20. What, what is the total? 73. <coughs>
Jack, the wage increase for fire and EMS is actually at the discretion of council because they are stated in the uh, codes. So I, you guys would have to vote on those that are already labeled in our codes. So you guys will have the legislation. Soon, right? Well, Chair, Chair does our team. Okay, that's good. What we owe the people for? Promises made, promises kept. Okay, we got money, not to go to debt. Seems like a no brainer. Absolutely. And also, we had with when the numbers came on, I'd be, I'd be at 68 when we were completely out of debt. I mean, that's we took no more on. Mm -hmm. I just got elected at 19, so I'm pretty happy that we're not doing any more than that. Another thing that we're looking at to be doing also with those medics is once we get the new medic, also that medic and the reserve and the medic we have now will also be rotated every month or so to, to hold down the miles on the new medic and on that medic. And also, too, that way when it's when it's in the reserve status, gives the our maintenance officer a chance to run through that medic, find anything that might be might need to be worked on or fixed, or that's what when it's in a reserve status. Fantastic. Council, do you have any other questions about any of the fire or EMS funds? So we just let them on. Hearing none. Health levy, Mr. Bridge. Health levy is what it is. Yep, I need one of them there. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Lowry, No? Okay, good. Uh, police levy. Yes. It's passed in New York. Um, so, the police levy revenue, we did see a. Um, about hundred thousand dollar increase in collections compared from 2017 actual to 2018 actual. Um, so uh, that's always a bonus. Um, expenditures run about the same for capital and police. We have a little police cruiser. Seventy thousand five hundred, and that includes fifteen thousand for equipment upgrades, forty-two thousand five hundred for a new patrol vehicle. Um, and 13000 for equipment for new, uh, for new patrol vehicles. So um, we've got quite a amount of money stashed into by the uh, patrol vehicle outright without financing that. And we also have about, like I said, about 15000 for them to do equipment upgrades. Uh, estimated ending balance at the end of 1950912 uh, We can't expect that to go up. And I say that because if you look at the expense line, Clark County Sheriff, it's one, two, three, four down. Um, of course, we know how they bill us. They give us the higher amount possible on the contract and then they bill us what before. But for budgeting purposes, we need to put that highest amount in just in case we have a slew of poor deputies that have a lot of experience, lot of experience and family plans on the insurance. So um, if we stay the same course with the current deputies we have, you can look at maybe subtracting the difference between uh, 19 proposed and 2018 actual, um, maybe with a 3% increase from 2018. So our bottom line on the police levy should still go up quite a bit. I have two questions for you. Yeah. My first question is, uh, once we purchase this new vehicle this year, we will have a whole new vehicle. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And my second question is, are we moving the police force into, potentially into our new project? No. No. Okay. Not right now. Okay. So I was wondering, because I know like with townships, I'm not sure about Bethel, my name, but in Bethel Park, when they built their new building, they had to use some of the money to house their fire department into their building. Sure. So that's it, it's really space prohibitive, and um, we had discussed that um, not so much with the current project, but in other places. And um, I think with Belmar, it may have worked because we can segregate between the police operations and then the uh, city operations, because uh, they do bring people in to kind of down and all kinds of stuff. So, but right now, the current situation is not, no. it's just not able to and I, just looking at the balance that we do have, that will be left over, that's quite a big balance. And maybe, you know, we should start improving where they are at. <laughs> or thinking, I, I mean, I, I'm just saying, there's some things that we could do to make it a little more aesthetically pleasing for them. Um, all their desks are broken. All, like, there's some things that I, so I'm just, there's quite a bit of money left, but if you choose, yeah, already for twelve thousand. That's on right here. So, so it, 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 yeah. So I, I just mean there's there's a big balance there to, to do. Our concern is, would they be moving? And if they can't move, then maybe we can make it a little. Because we do have extra money. Is all I'm saying. Oh, the problem with my new desk. I don't want to put a dime in that building on the outside. Yeah, it's yeah. great. You know. Um, but if we need to get a desk. That's what I'm going to spend the authority. That's because like, but that's only you manage. Sure. Now, some things, we need, extra money for. some things that we need to be looking down the road on this is because right now with the project, if the building behind the 
correct. place of the project that becomes open. That would be a great place. Mm -hmm. Now, if that doesn't happen, as no one here is a crystal ball, you're right. We need to start thinking about the current condition of that substation. And that involves either tearing it down and building something for them, or finding them in a new location period and leveling out for additional parking for the fire department. You know? Um, but the substation's days are numbered. Sure. Yeah. 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 Second floor, yeah, goes down mm -hmm. on the second floor. First floor.
from that because we got 130,000, so we've stuck that in. But we've also got money back from the land reutilization program as well, um, and that the money is in there as well. So when we first did this a couple of years ago, council had decided to leave that money sit because just in case the general fund ever is really low, the general fund's not going to have to make the transfer um, into uh, this line item to make that payment. Um, the remaining funds um, are are in Star Ohio and collecting interest. I, I just want to leave with that. So they are working for us. I would recommend keeping that in there as well as putting it out. Okay. That's all my questions. Mrs. Strong, is it? How much longer do we have on this uh, <coughs> bond debt we retire? Yes. A hundred years? No, not like that. Um, I want to say the Twin Creek series falls off, I think, 2035. Oh, okay. And then, and don't make me feel quote on this. And then the uh, Jeff Hobbs are about four or five years after that. But it could be switched. I remember that, yeah. yeah. And I'll share the schedule I have. I'm sure I already sent it to you, but I'll send it back out. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Somebody can remind me that when I forget to do it. I'll send you good this week. Yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, any good. questions, Council, on Twin Creeks? Yep. Oh, Mr. Yeah. Water operating. So, Mr. Mayor, I will leave this up to you. We still have two more budget work sessions. Day o'clock. Absolutely. We can go through, we can get through, but now that we're hitting the back end, we once we get past water and cemetery and swimming pools, I'm more than welcome to go forward. I don't know how that works since we already scheduled the meetings so we have to show up or we can just cancel them. Yeah. Well, we have to be here on the tour. We have to be here on the tour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that Wednesday, but we might have to stay over for Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Yeah. No, 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 no. I think that, and that's not working out in my head. 20th, 20th is the last day we have. 20th is the Wednesday. Yeah, yes. that's one of the legislation. So we have to stay with that. Right. Yeah. So what I recommend well, maybe be Tuesday, you know. instead of if we get through some of it, not say much past the council meeting on Tuesday. That's what I'm saying, especially now. It's it council in agreement, yes. Yeah. Stay now, so we can all stay later on Tuesday. Well, <laughs> did you already promote with Emily that it's the 20th is budget work session and the legislation? Because if it, she amended that, and it's now staying that we have legislation and a work session, I don't know how that works in the wall. No, we can still so cancel the work session. Okay. <clears throat> Consumer charge for $925,000. We brought in $858,484. And um, I will give props to Mr. Kitko because I think that I probably have a heart attack a few times trying to get these water rates down. Um, with the evolution of high efficiency everything, it has made guesstimating what your revenues are going to be very, very difficult. So um, we, we will, again, we'll see that increase. Uh, operating revenues projected to be $943,500. Um, the expenditures, it's over two pages like this because it does have a lot of line items with the editors, so just keep that in mind. Um, no big changes from year in and year out. Capital, we have $270,000. And that is. Seven thousand five hundred for fire hydrant replacements, under twenty-five thousand dollars for tower maintenance program and removal of Art Adams Tower. Twenty-eight thousand eight seventy-five for payment to the general fund. Twenty-five thousand for the hydraulic GPS study. Fifteen thousand for repair of the high service pump building. And five thousand for tower control. So that is your capital on that line item. Excuse me. Any discussion on any of those ex ex expenditures? Mr. Lowry. So the goal was to. Take down Adam's Tower. Yes, sir. I think that's good. Council, anything else on this? When will that tower do work coming in? Uh, that is still up in the air. We have to do the hydraulic study, and we're still trying to work that on. Uh, we're going to get the official number to the EPA to allow us to do that. And the, the other water tower is sufficient to supply the city? Oh, the city? The one we want to keep is 1.7 million gallons. The one we want to tear down is only 100,000. Okay. Anything else? Uh, Ending fund balance for water operating projected to be 47,574. 
one of the things that me and Mr. Kiko did discuss um, is if we see some of our revenue projections fall short, um, I would ask that council amend the repayment to the general fund, um, $28,875. If we see that our water uh, revenues or other kind of expenditures are going up, that we do have a little cushion there. Um, and we just have to suspend that repayment until 2020. But we're going to wait to the end of the year to see how that And we're doubling up the back down this time. Yep, yep, so good point to clear. So that's, a, that's on the second page of uh, water expenses. Uh, they have 56, uh, 5,700 in there. So we'll change that to 5, 6, what was that times 2? 2, 16, 13, 8. That should be right, 11. 11, 11, 62, so 11, 4. So that back there would now be 11,400. So we can anticipate um, the 5,681 further reduction from the ending balance of 47,574. So you're getting balance under around 42. With double and double net back okay. But again, you're saving interest on that. Paying things off your tax. That's all that comes It's waste water. <coughs> just just I just want to fill you on know, a little bit of stuff that's been going on with water. Um, in those maintenance of infrastructure, maintenance of equipment, maintenance of facilities, we did have those an additional 5,000 um, or so. Reason being, the EPA through Senate Bill 2 or 5 has mandated that water treatment facilities um, develop uh, weekly their capital contingency plans. And, and for the life of me, I cannot remember the name of the plan right now, but we have to um, take everything we own, name it, uh, put a maintenance agreement to it, and that's what and all that. <laughs> yes. So basically, what we're doing is putting a lot of this maintenance into it. Uh, tell the EPA here's what we're doing. So down the road, we are able to sustain a more economic uh, water department. Um, so we've been getting that developed. We're trying to put more into maintenance now. I know that the ending fund balance is not uh, where I'd like it to be. But I believe if we're very frugal and get these maintenance things on the front, it will save us in the end. Um, so, I wish I could remember the name of that, but yes, we're, we're doing a lot more maintenance. And the second rate increase did go uh, in effect February, I believe. This is the second year of a three year. Council, anything else? Hearing none. Waste water, Mr. Fridge. Waste water. We have projected for supercharges as uh, 900,000. Last year we ended with 846094. Um, total ending, uh, um, total uh, projected operating revenues for 2019 at uh, $904,500. Um, on your wastewater capital, 502, we have 425,000 in there. Um, and that is $285,000 for a bar screen replacement and $140,000 for a broad employee replacement, two pumps. So, Mr. Hicko, any update on that with the current project we're going through? Yes, um, and right before I get to that, same thing with maintenance of structure equipment. We raised those two to take care of some issues. Now, with this 425, uh, the ordinance that you had passed, I think last council meeting, council meeting before, to buy that one pump. That will come out of that 80000 okay? Uh, one more pump will be purchased in the bar screen. Uh, Debbie and I had looked at, we, my engineering bid is coming sometime soon. I wish I had it before today, but I don't. It would have given me what that bid should come in, and then I could adjust accordingly. I'm hoping that that will cover the full project cash-wise, but I believe we're gonna be about 500000 total, okay? So, a um, couple options to, get one year um, loan, some way, shape, or form, obviously we'll have to finish the project. But however that works out, was either use, if available, general fund, or we'll have to go get a um, small loan from a small institution for one year or so. And my goal is to give, hopefully that will be very close to paying for it all in cash. If I heard you correctly, the 425 is going to cost an additional 75000 the engineer's estimates come in at about 500, so we need enough capital for 500. I'm not just making up. 
that, that's why I don't have the bids, and I'm just I'm going by. I think the engineer and I were pretty close about because there basically have to be a loan. So when we go to do the loan for the ordinance, we'll have to do the amendment for okay. revenues, expenditures, just that we would do any funding. Okay. We had seventy-five on the capital. That's what I talked about. Okay, that's what I'm going to make sure I heard correctly. Yeah, okay. Council okay with the loan? Uh, general not nothing else with it, but it's not weird. That's my feelings. Okay. Are we changing anything right now? Ms. Watson? Yeah, just that I mean, that's your choice either to go for the loan to see what's in the state or when the general fund does have a pretty good balance. So you can see at that time what
you don't know what two years is going to bring. The moment that something is renewed, we now don't have to help the general fund in a matter of a year or two, depending on how much load of surplus is in there. As far as loans <coughs> for this project, if you're only talking 75000 I would not even consider anything over two years at the max. There should be no reason why a two-year loan or 75000 could not be paid back out of this fund over a two-year period. Uh, you know, it's great taking money out of the general fund and paying cash for everything, and I'm all about paying cash. I'm pretty vocal about it. Uh, but I also understand that if something happens, something doesn't pass, we're right back to 2015. Some place I don't the city never gets back to. So I know you guys just talking a 30 year loan for $75,000. Nobody in the right mind to do that. I don't care if it's a city or not. I, I wouldn't even be on the board for a year loan. When I said a two year loan max, that's roughly $35,000 a year. Uh, and about 30, 32, 750, I think it is. Uh, there's no reason why that couldn't be paid back in two years. So I would be more up to agree with a two year loan than to take an extra 75 grand out of the general fund uh, just in case something didn't you know, happen down the road and something didn't pass. The, yes, the balance of our. Wastewater seven seven thousand. We have about two thousand. No, I, I was not going to do that either because if we have a pump go out, oh, I know. you know, I mean, even new pumps can go out. And if a new pump went out, well, now the general fund's got to pay for it. Yeah, I understand that. Well, that's going to be lower than that because this is another one of those fund items where I'm telling you that back to so that seven seven thousand one point thirty four. Reduced the highway? The uh, 5,681 because of the double back. Okay, so I'll just pay that in cash. Get that in. So that's going to go down to 72,000. So the balance, operating balance is being enough to do the, give the, buy the 70, the, to pay for the 75,000. So again, I don't know how the rest of the council feels about it, but I would not be willing to do anything over a two year loan for 75 grand. Mr. Cut. I'm more inclined to go along with what Mr. Pitko has outlined here. If he needs 75, he goes low. Let's go out.
And that's exactly what we'll be doing. I, I, again, I'll go back to, you know, I'd be good with a two-year loan, but absolutely two years or one month, no, no, I wouldn't no, be good with that. So that goes on for two years? It's two, okay. Okay. it's something. I think it's less than it's less than thirty bucks for the month. Two years. It's half a dozen, one six another. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's either way. Yeah. One's more money. One's less than ten. Well, <laughs> so not one six and a half as well. Well, I understand that, but also, so I also I also understand what the city manager is saying that we have to, you know, protect that general fund in case some levy doesn't pass in another year or two. Or or yeah. quotes for a particular project. Or, you know, we don't know what all those quotes are going to be yet because he hasn't done that. I don't know what he's doing. But at that particular level, at that particular level, maybe it does like a pass. Now we have a low, but he has to pay back. And now that's even more money that's now locked up against that. But it, it just, I, I'm good. I can't eat anymore. Dad, I'm going to be eight all <laughs> I can't do this oh, meeting. So, uh, so I think we're going to meet this dead horse. Let's move on. What was the final decision? It was, it was obviously a two year run. No okay. more than a two year run for 75000 if needed. I mean, of course, a legislation will be coming from that. the city manager to approve any of all this that we can work with. Yeah. Oh, dark job. Okay, okay. Oh, watch out. Swimming so pool. Cool. Miss... Bright red or bright yellow wrapper on your thing. Mr. Bridge, swimming pool. I think we're very talking about swimming pool. I think we did one. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Miss Watson, while well, Mr. Bridge chokes on me, had a dark child. Okay. What do you have to say about that? Swimming pool. You guys want a 30,000 transfer in here? We plugged the numbers in the pool fund was about $30,000 negative. So we had to go back and redo all this stuff today. <coughs> okay. okay. So what we suggested is 20000 in the capital. Okay. Um, We adjusted some of our um, projected revenue. Ms. Lowry, can I put you on the spot? Maybe I don't have any more people. We so, have seen <coughs> a fantastic increase in not only pool membership, but daily, well, daily AP is about the same. Mm -hmm. Concessions, phenomenal job. Party and rentals. Phenomenal. Do you see that trend continuing in 19? Yes, I do. You do? Yeah. Okay. Last year we made more purchases of pool toys, we had play ball, water walking balls, we had the six foot beach ball, the six foot tall ring toss. We have all these things that we have added to our party packages, um, and those are an additional fee, and that also is something else that we offer that other pools don't offer. Okay. Um, and also because we added a swim team last year that brings in revenue and it also brings in people <coughs> from other cities to come when they come to for the swim meet. So they come to our pool and they walk in and I hear a lot of times, wow, it's really big here. I didn't realize how much room you had. Can I get more information? And then we give out our flyers and so we're getting a lot more people coming into the pool than what we've had before. Right. Last year, 20, the actual pool membership was 21100 $23, so thank you so much for the hard work you put into that. Um, in 19, we projected $20,000. We're going to go a little bit lower just to assume that we don't have bad weather or whatever. Right. So we have to take that to consideration. And the rates have gone up, so we have an increase in wages. Ooh, okay. Well, it did go up, didn't it? I know. It was a bit. How many people are in the chat? Um, I had 20, not many employees last year. Where was the, where was the increase between the minimum wage and where is it now? What's our average daily um, employees that are on staff here at any one time? Um, it depends on how many people were at the pool. I like no parties, decent amount. Um, the 20 is 8.55. It's going to go up to what? 8.55. From where? 8.55, yeah, from 8.30. So it's going to go up. So 25 cents? Right, so it's 29 times 0.25. Sorry, what was that? 29 times 0.25, not mm -hmm. 0.25. What are you saying? 29 times 0.25. Okay. Okay. 0.25. 725. $7.25. $7.25. Yeah. How many hours a week do your part time people work? Um, well, everybody's considered part time. The average employee gets, and it, it all depends on weather, so probably 20, 25 hours a week. Um, we, we, we start with, I say, four employees. I'm really good about 
out from the weather and cutting if I don't need somebody. So we always do open with a manager, a lifeguard, and a front desk slash concession person. That person does both positions so we become good enough to have a second person come in and then we'll call in a second. So you times 23 times 7.25? 23 times 7. Uh, 166.75. Any full balance would actually be two twenty six two thousand six hundred twenty four dollars. Um, last year, your actual raises were thirty thousand three sixty seven. You're going to increase that by a quarter per employee. Right now, we have budgeted thirty two thousand, and that's not including any kind of Medicare or FERS that they may have to do. Um, okay, hold that for twelve. Council, general fund transfer of thirty thousand dollars that you guys agreed upon. I was not sure if that was strictly for capital or what's the purpose of that. And just hear me out if I can continue on. As I stated earlier, when we plugged those numbers in, the pool was $32,000 on the whole. So we had to kind of redo these figures. Um, but now we have $20,000 into capital, and this is still with the $30,000 revenue coming in from the general fund, keeping that in mind. $20,000 in capital. Um, all the other expenditures we have to account for that we've done year in and year out. Um, without any adjustments on the wage increase from, from the, from the uh, increase in minimum wage, $2,624. So we're not going to have much wiggle room after we account for the increased wages. What do you think? For maybe another 1000 maybe for wages, if that? Oh, you probably have to take a 30 to give yourself a little room. Yeah, yeah but, um... Because we could have a hot heat in summer and think back all the time. We average, if anything, we average five or six employees a day? Probably. Okay, so that's eight. What's the pull up in eight hours? Uh, it's only eight if there's not a party, yes. So you got well, eight hours, no, five hours, that's true, because we do so much. So some lessons and we use soccer conditioning up to 30 a.m. for those things and then we close at it's not as pool party 8 p.m. give us 30 minutes to close down, it's 8 30, so it's 12 and a half hours. If we have a party, you know, we might be open 16 hours a day. Okay. I was just thinking about the average man hours um, that are in a day, and you take that have that wage and we'll be able to figure out what an average right. would be how many total man hours we do for a summer. Right. We are really good about watching um, what's coming in versus wages going out. I mean, there's a lot of times when we'll send home our front desk and concession employee, and just the manager will do all three jobs. So it just depends. Or just to clarify, this is the ending balance of two two thousand six hundred is with the transfer. Rate. So yeah, it is with the transfer, but we're not including any kind of wage increase. So right off the bat, we put fourteen percent in the first. Your Medicare is like. So you would look at maybe multiplying, let's say like a 32,000 in wages, you would maybe multiply that by 50% to account for your PERS, your Medicare, and those are stuff that we have to account for as well. You know, so. What do you think? Sorry, I just want to ask. The $20,000 for capital, is that already, is that you have that spend? I mean, you don't want to spend that full time? Uh, no, we've talked about doing
I mean, we'll just add in the, I mean, if you think you're going to utilize the full 20. I don't feel comfortable doing it because we're going to have so much more foot from shoot out traffic in that pool this year. We didn't have a swim team last year. So this year it's going to be a lot more foot traffic coming in. Can I make a suggestion? That's what I'm waiting on. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. What was it? What was it? Are you changing it from 30 to 20? Because they were going to do 30 for the capital improvement. Well, the trans of 30 is still there, but the fund's not going to support expending 30000 in capital because it puts it in the name. Okay. Yeah. I understand what you're asking. You're asking if the full 30 would be there for capital to be spent, and it would not be at this point. It would make your ending fund balance negative. So we, we're not allowed to do that legally. So that's where you kind of play with the money. But you're still getting 30000 from the uh, general fund to put into your account to utilize. So without that 30, you wouldn't have the 20 either. So my question again was, I don't know what the full 30 was paying for. If you needed the full 30, I mean, you, okay. you were, can you get what you're selling? Pool lights, you didn't know how much they would cost. Yeah, yeah, was the the, the, the man's restroom that it's full of The latest restroom was cost is And at the end of the day, I mean, I think the, the this is for right. now. I mean, at the end of the day, if so we have to go back like we did before and put more, yeah. you know, another 10 from the general fund, that's what we're Thank you for bringing that. Would, I mean, council, would council be okay with putting more money from the general fund into the pool? Or, or do you want to let it ride and see how it plays out? Because at the end of the year, we're at, you could put the transfer in for 30000 The pool may not need it yeah. at the end of the year. So even though it's, trans, it's there for a ride right now, um, she didn't really transfer. I don't know how Debbie plans to do it, but I only waited until before the end of the pool year to get plan out to see if the transfer even needed to occur. You know, so you can put forty thousand in that pool transfer that needs to go. It needs to go. The thing about it is, is the pool. The pool's an asset now. I mean, it truly is. I mean, it has come from next to nothing to a very profitable, well, almost profitable, place for our citizens to go to. So, I don't know, you know. Yeah. 
He had a connection. Let Letterford did the connection last year. We can run it. Yeah. You're welcome to stay. That's what you're saying. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. April, how do you feel? Oh, Mike, sorry. We just totally cut you off the cake. I'm so sorry. You just feel good. Well, I was going to say, if we're going to get as much work done as we possibly can, hopefully before the floor opens, I feel we should know where we're at number wise. Um, I do take the full budget and I watch those numbers. Cemetery building, which is 15,000. And then a 
attachments and accessories. So we have 15,000 in cemetery repairs. Plan for the building. So that being said, with that increase uh, with the capital um, projected lien balance of 20,793. Please keep in mind that the history of the cemetery is in at around 60,000 in this coming year. 19 proposed is about 20,000, so we're seeing about a $40,000 decrease. Keep in mind that we always overdo our expenditures, though. Mr. Council? Mr. Bridge, a quick question for the cemetery. Uh, potential upgrade to the building at five grand. We just want to move the guy into the the city building of the project that we might be getting. There's no room. And he does the cemetery the building won't be for him? No, not for another office. There's he does the cemetery sales out of the cemetery building. Okay. Office in there. Right. Um so um, yeah. 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 Council, any questions? What's the capital for fifteen thousand dollars for the the improvements in the cemetery building and five thousand for um, attachments, accessories. So I kind of recommend council probably bring in a copy of the clerk work session next time when we do this, just because you guys can follow along with what's already in the council. Does that make sense? But that's where we're at, 5,000 for attachments and accessories and 15,000 for the next year. Uh, water, wastewater capital improvement.
transferring, uh, not transferring, uh, oh. the, donating, right? You have it written down? Mm, no, I don't know what to say. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> you don't say pay. Uh, well, actually, you're right. You know, really wanted to donate 5000 to the pantry. Um, our money, which is allowed. We asked on that for a uh, legal opinion last year. So it was approved. Uh, the council has to make that approval. And I would like to give them 5000 again. That would be 512 families in the city of New Berlin. Uh, that actively leaves that food family. And I would like to know council's opinions on that. Uh, Mr. Cook, would you like to start? Mr. Lindsay. I have no problem feeding the people in New Carlisle. Neither do I. Mr. Shannon. Mr. Lowry. You're only your boss. I'm assuming you have to agree with that. I'm assuming you have to agree with that. I don't know the name. You don't want to agree with that. Okay. Mr. Lowry. But the reason I ask this is, you know, I think once we've all gotten together here, we've worked really hard together. We've given money across the board to things that are really important to that. That would really help families, and something I really am passionate about. I hope that you all agree to the Mr. Lauer's argument. One second, I'm Mr. Lauer's speaking for a second. I mean, I personally don't have a problem with it, but I, I do worry about. I mean, I have no problem with what you want to do. It's, to me, it kind of bounces back to the. Uh, to the subject you brought up, of like uh, the water bill. You know, yeah. I just worry that you know someone's going to say, okay, now you're getting money to the show. I don't. I just let me think about it. All right. They would go to the one in the Methodist Church where they have. Uh, it's not actually a house in the Methodist Church anymore. That's what, that's the one. Uh, at the Church United, yes. Yeah. They're, they're all housed underneath the same, right. the same branch, but it's new one. So, we got Go ahead. Is that something that you see cities do so often? Or so yes, often? they can. Uh, they, I know they transfer money into uh, food pantries, and maybe there's community garden transfers. Uh, so, I, I've seen it in a few. I don't know if it's like a standard operating procedure right. across a thousand cities, but it happens. But this happens. Okay. So I would, I would really like to see that happen. I would get one no, three yeses. But Mr. Lowry, I'd love to have you on board too. Can we this tonight? Well, we need a budget. Budget, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so. so that, we're, we're finished. We're done with this. Is it? We only have Do we only have one food pantry in the crowd? Yes. Okay. They're, they're all that would be my concern. What you're thinking too is. Yeah. Give the one and we didn't get the one. Yep, it goes in that. I just want to make sure there's just one, one yeah, in yeah. New Carlisle. And it benefits. We had three. New Carlisle New residents? Yes, 512 families just a year. Carl. And that would be, and they pull us up. Sorry. It's probably, it's probably all oh, right. But it doesn't just New Carlisle. But those are 512 New Carlisle families that use it directly. What do you mean? When my kid is concerned, I don't know where he's going with that. Because when you do that, you have everybody else coming and saying, wait a minute, you need it here. Yeah. So I was just making sure that we only, you know, we pull this up. We only had one in the city to do that. I'm just trying to. Oh, you did tax write off for a street door. Good afternoon. Five to the big 
about the event. And then you're still giving the same amount of money back. Yeah, we're not losing anything. You're still doing your I'm all that compromise. I'm all that compromise. $5,000 or a $6 million budget is like, I can't even say right. it. You know, I mean, I, I understand people's concerns, but if you want to cut the fireworks by 5000 and put it back at ten, and then spend the whole 10000 maybe we can. Yeah, yeah, so we only did eight. Yeah, yeah we only did eight last year. And if we go, I, there was some talk about another company, a couple other companies. If we can get it cheaper, you know, then we can have a better fireworks display for the for the eight or ten thousand dollars. So I would be good with taking the five grand and giving it to the food pantry or just so giving that five grand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.
days. So you will not have a final clean version until it's 15 days have passed, and no one can then that uh, other than last year. That's fine. I just want to keep everyone on the same page. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Before you adjourn, I have a request. Yes, Question that we that council had discussed uh, some time I think a couple of three meetings ago um, when we did union contract talks of uh, getting them out of the out of the union and there was some discussion on wages for the city manager have we done any more on that and do we need to bring a resolution or ordinance forward to increase his pay like we told you. I thought you were going to decrease it by 10. Well, well we did. I am on my cloud nine right now, so let's not, let's not knock me down. Okay? So. We just want to take you down to cop so. Well, you can do that, but you have to agree. We don't need to do that. I don't think you have to do that by a resolution in a or I, well, I will be, remember I talked about going to executive session the next meeting to talk mm -hmm. about employment of public personnel? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that would be a great time to talk about. Fantastic. Okay. Do I have permission to go put that on the agenda for executive session? Yes. Do you want to see why not? As well as going in for the purchase of yes. sale of property. I thought there was three things. It's employment, purchase sale of property, and public discipline of public employees. Who are we disciplining? You. No, it's not employees. <laughs> it's not employees. <laughs> Sorry. Now, Man, it's like, I'm on a roller coaster. You should have said that's a raise, and then you're going to discipline me? Yeah, this is all. <laughs> No, we're gonna just take them. All right. Away. And then you can take out some serious stuff. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, just real quick. Um, I don't want to, you guys to hear secondhand, but I just had another meeting with a consultant on behalf of Tim Day, the 571 Bar and Grill. They oh, have, okay. sorry. Yeah, um, I'm sure, I'm not sure if you know, but they have respectfully requested to connect to utilities. Um, they are looking to fund to get the utilities extended to us. And in short, we will probably take over those utilities out to them once they install, inspect it, EPA to one night guards. They will eventually have utilities um, coming up this year. So um, as that progresses, I will keep uh, council aware and I will have to bring legislation to you because you have to approve to extend utilities outside of the municipality. Um, and it will be- huh? going to take next time? Uh, that's down the road because there's currently three properties before him that are not, so he is not contiguous in any way, shape, or form. So I just want to keep you abreast. So if you hear out there, oh, hey, the city's doing this, this. We're, we're moving through the engineering right now, but it's all being a project. They're, we're not paying for anything other than we may upgrade a line to hold in that. There, there, there may be a third reason as we go to the second session. Close this to with Mayor Reynolds, so if anyone wants to come talk to me one on one, they can't. Um, I'm not ready to say anything in the open yet about it, so that's why I'm not required about going behind the executive session to update council. I would imagine it would probably be seven minutes to the purchase or sale or off. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. I got to look. Yeah, something. We may have to do it for the session, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm going to find out. So if you see a third one on there, that's what it's for. Fantastic. Council, anything else? It's Mr. fantastic. I have a question. Mr. Cook. If I remember right, Mr. Snyder had a ballot issue in regards to extending utility lines outside of the city limits without a vote of the people. Am I not wrong? That would be news to me, but I don't know the past. I've been, my period. I've been on duty ordinances and haven't come across anything like that. And what, what year did we extend out to North Hampton? Uh, that was 1996. I was thinking that was after Mr. Snyder. What about that was up? Like, why was that was 2004. Yeah, I'm assuming that that was well before Mr. Snyder's time of, uh, uh, well after Mr. Snyder's time of ballot uh, initiatives. Yeah, well, yeah, the ordinance is just tells you what the minimum has to be, what they have to do, what their charge will be, um, that type of thing. And they're paying for that? Yes, they did. Awesome. They got their wings. So, all right, council, anything else? Thank you for coming.